hello friends today we will discuss one another problem on development of surfaces of prism so for that consider this problem a prism of side 50 mm and height 90 mm is kept vertical such that all the sides equally inclined to hp it is cut by a plane inclined at 60 degree to square base and passing through one of the corner of square base draw the development of lateral surface of prism so read this problem first here some changes are there it is cut that means prism is cut by a inclined plane at 60 degree and this plane is passing through one of the corner of the base so the line of cutting section we have to draw from the one of the corner of the base okay so uh, we will discuss the solution so draw the initial views of the prism x y line then uh, draw the diagonals and prepare a square of given side of 50 mm clear now name all the points and then project them in the front view now take the height of 90 mm which is given in the problem then from this top draw a locus now we have this front view of this prism name the points as 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash and 4 dash as usual now draw this cutting section line cutting section plane at an angle of 60 degree with this horizontal xy line now this horizontal xy line means it is the base and this section plane is passing through this one of the corner of the base clear now just locate the points p dash 1 p dash 2 then p dash 4 hmm? where this section plane cut the vertical edges of the prism now for this edge number 3 there is no cut by the section plane so there is no point p dash 3 clear but the section plane intersect the top surface here so the edge of 2 3 and 3 4 clear so these are the edges 2 3 and 3 4 the point of intersection there are two points of intersection named as a dash and b dash now to locate the points in the top view these points a dash and b dash in the top view we have to draw a vertical projection taken from this a and b so before that just uh, i repeat again draw the edges remaining edges of the prism clear okay and now take vertical projection in the top view in downward direction now see there we got these two points with the edges 2 3 and 3 4 respectively we can name them as a and b clear now see this total square we can observe from the top and the portion a uh, 1 2 a b 4 and again up to 1 these are the cut area clear so we can hash them okay this is the top view so we got now front view and top view of the prism 
now we have to develop them so take a length of rectangle as a perimeter which is equal to 200 mm clear and the height of the prism of 90 mm so draw the rectangle and as usual divide this rectangle into four parts as it is a square prism it has four faces so divide it in four parts and name the parts 1 2 3 4 and 1 dash again this is the overlapping edge clear yeah. so now to obtain the points on the development draw the horizontal projection from front view or simply uh, take this distance vertical distance from p dash 2 to 2 in the compass and mark here the point p2 clear and similarly the same distance is for p dash 4 so we can mark the point p4 okay but uh, this projection method is simpler okay and as well as we have to show what is our working is there clear so now next point now p1 is there p2 is there and p4 is there so just see again how to locate point a and point b okay now we know the distance of point a from point uh, this corner 2 clear so measure this distance to a distance in compass and just mark here point a now it is a and b they are on the top surface so measure from here and locate point a clear this is here the point a and point b is there okay now for point b what we have taken the distance 4 to b in compass and mark here 4 to b okay ha huh. now just joint p1 p2 a b p4 and again p1 to obtain the development clear so joint them these are the cut portion of the edges this and uh, 2 to p2 4 to p4 and here up to p1 okay these are the cut edges and remaining there are the surfaces and the edges also okay so uh, so we have to just complete the edges so uh, these edges remains as it is so draw the base line and the vertical edges here we have completed the development of the given prism so i hope uh, i hope you understood this problem okay thank you